Hello, I'm Xin Yulin. The paper I'm going to present today is titled Influence of Human Activities on Coral Reef Ecosystems in Sanya, China. And my presentation is mainly consists of five parts. The first part is about my self-introduction and other parts are separate according to my different section in the paper. And the self-introduction part, I'm currently studying in UC San Diego, and I have previously studied in UC Berkeley and UC Santa Barbara. And I'm interested in investigate climate and human impacts on marine ecosystems, particularly the impacts and the adaptation to warming, hypoxia, and ocean acidification in marine species. And I'm currently working in different three different labs in UC San Diego. And I have previously worked in South China Sea Institute of Oceanology. And the second part is the introduction of my paper. The research question that how human activities, including leisure, land-based pollution, fishery, and industrialization influence the coral reef ecosystems in Sanya, China, in my literature review, the impact of those human activities on coral reefs and the related marine organism in Sanya will be discussed. And also the causation of increasing in frequency and intensity of those activities will also be analyzed. As for the significance of my review paper, it will become a tool for future researchers to better understand the influence of human activities on coral reefs in Sanya, and also it will become a reference for other researchers to study the disturbance of human activities on coral reef ecosystems in other places, and also people can take action accordingly to protect and recover the coral reef ecosystem. Global situation will be also an analyzed in my paper. In general, the coral reef ecosystem is degrading globally and which is mainly caused by human activities. Around 80% of the coral reefs in South China Sea and around Hainan Island are destroyed by human activities. Three different coral reef ecosystems in the world will be also analyzed in my paper, including the corals in Australia, Taiwan, China, and Indonesia, as shown in the figure. The main part of my, of my paper is the human activities impact in Sanya. The current situation of the first human activity, leisure activities, is that 70% of areas for water sports are located in Sanya. And from for past few decades, the number of tourists traveling to Sanya shows an exponential growth as shown in figure four on the left. Leisure activity will have both direct and indirect impacts on corals. Anchoring, visitor dives is mainly consists of the direct impacts of corals. And the noise pollution, oil spill, collides raves brought by boats, and chemical substance lit from the sunscreen consists of the indirect impacts on corals. Leisure activities will also have impacts on other species. For example, the coral reef fishes increase in a particular area, and also the fitness of some fishes will be affected from the leisure activities. The current situation of the second human activity, land-based pollution, is that nutrients in sewage discharge and plastic is mainly consist of the pollution and which will have both negative and positive impact on corals in Sanya. However, Researchers did not discover any strong correlation between the amount of nutrients in sewage discharge and the declining coverage of coral reef in Sanya. Similarly, the impact of microplastic on coral, depending on different factors, land-based pollution will also affect 
other marine organisms, including algae, sea turtles, sea birds, whales, etc. The current situation of the third human activity, fishery, is that marine catch and maverick culture increased a lot in the following years, which will lead to the low density of fishery resources and the increasing in environmental damage. Fishery will also have direct and indirect damage on corals. Destructive fishing practice and the remaining cables and fishing nets consist of the direct damage in the industry of catching or rearing marine species mainly consists of the indirect impact on corals. Fishery will also have impact on other species, including changing the composition and distribution of some other marine organisms and affect the higher trophic levels. The current situation of the last human activity industrialization is that the total amount of industrial waste gas is really huge, which causes the pH to decrease a lot. And the warming and also ocean acidification brought by industrialization disturb the normal function of coral reefs in Sanya as a coral species may not sustain both warming and ocean acidification at the same time. Also, industrialization will affect other species, including phytoplankton, mollusks, and marine vertebrates. The last conclusion part of my paper is that Leisure activities, land-based pollution, fishery, and industrialization will brought both positive and negative influence on coral reef ecosystem in Sanya. And those activities may directly damage the structure of coral reefs or hinder the normal physiological function of corals. And those activities will also have direct and or indirect impact on other marine organisms. As for future research, researchers can focus on study how and why fishery and coral bleaching are correlated, and also how different types of oil pollution disturb different types of coral under different condition. However, having a comprehensive understanding of how a certain species of corals in Sanya deal with a certain human activities under different condition is pretty challenging. And thanks for listening. Here is a reference for the presentation.